Okay. So today we're gonna be looking at the Vehimo. Vehimo. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. I think it's Vehimo. Uh, the car window sun visor set. Let's take a little look. It's a metallic silver. Okay. Vehimo. Vehemo. Vehimo. Okay, we got a drawstring, uh, drawstring cover, so that's nice. Little bag it comes in. And let's undo this. Noticing at the end of these drawstrings though, there's no, they're not tied together. I just thought these would be tied together, because this could just come straight off. Let's pull these out. There's more. Okay, so it's there. Uh, Black on inside, it's a nice little bag there. Oosh. <laughs> oh, well, that scared the crap out of me there. <laughs> okay, so they pop up by themselves. Nice. <laughs> really light, if I let that go, it kind of floats down. It's got a uh, metal, you can feel the metal um, wire going on the edges there. We can zoom that in. Yeah, this black edging around the, the around the wire itself with the stitch in there. All seems pretty good. Um, that's just a join there, is it? That's a join there. Okay. So yeah, it's very thin and lightweight, but it feels good quality at the same time. So. Uh, let me just have a look at these now and I want to expect. Oops. <laughs> okay, we got the, some larger ones. I'm thinking this is for the driver's door. And, you know, passenger door, driver's door. There's another two there. Yeah. I can't believe how lightweight these things are. Let's take a bigger bag here. With the suckers in it. I'm not sure how these connect, but we'll take a look at that in a sec. And uh, let's take a look. Ooh, okay. So I'm guessing this is either a windscreen or back window. Still amazingly light. Oops, flung away. Yeah, it's a nice thin material, but it feels good. Let's turn. This one's got a drawstring around it. I'm not sure. Let's see, it's kind of, whoop, there you go. Okay, wow, this one's, me. this one's huge. Wow. And, ugh, the size of that, it's too round. Okay, so you've got wires. And this one's a bit different then. There's no wire in the black stitching on the outside. There's wire around the stitching on the middle there. So there's a circle of wire and another circle of wire. And the rest of it is loose. So I'm not sure if that's a windshield or back. I'm guessing the windshield, because the windshield is usually the larger of the two. We've got draw I guess elastic string here. And I can only is there one on the other side? No. So I guess that is just used for tying this thing back up when you fold it up. So this is obviously the heavier of the two because of the size of the lot of them actually that is massive but um so i have to try these out in the back is all black obviously when you put these on your car you want the silver to face outwards because it re it'll reflect the sunlight that heat and have the black on the inside uh yeah so i'll go and check check this out check out the fit in the car so look at these suckers see we, how we do this Okay, so there are 12 in total, 12 of these suckers. So you get two for each panel. And they just clip on nicely there. As you can see there, it just kind of clips in. It's hard to do this with one hand. There you go, see, you got a little groove there and you just pop it onto the wire itself. And like, if I had two hands, I could do this a lot easier. 
Uh, <laughs> there you go. Do you see that? It just opens up and then it fits inside. Not quite. Ah, uh, this is impossible to do. There we go. So there you go. It fits on. So you put another one that side and you just hang them up in the car. I'm not sure how this one's going to work that Let's have a look at this big one because the wire is not on the black surround. The black surround on this one. So I don't know how. Let's take a little look. So. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to do this. I think it's going to have to be a case of folding that and putting it over the wire itself. Yeah, so on this big one, you're going to have to fold that and put it over the wire itself because it's not going to hold just by holding on to this because there's no wire in the black bits so you're just going to fold that back i guess stick it onto there onto the wire and then stick it up on the windshield the bottom of the this large one will be resting against the dashboard so it'll be fine so yeah, let's go and check it out put it on the car see what it looks like okay so i'm outside it's a nice sunny day perfect time to check us out this is on my car the chevy cruise you can see it's you have to kind of overlap these things these i think they're designed that way because everyone's windshield is a different size so that's good um unfortunately i could not get the side ones to fit at all on my windows so if you have a chevy cruise it's probably not advisable to get this particular thing uh, i have put it on my mother's car which is a, a fiesta the back fits great the back does fit my car but it's just the sides don't the sides are too big but i mean because they're flexible metal framed you can kind of squash them down a little but um i think it'll only hold for so long and it'll probably pop off because it's putting pressure on the suckers then i don't know how the, how good the suckers are time will tell what those you know what suckers are like but uh, so far they seem pretty good they fit this car much better than mine obviously they're not going to be able to fit the exact frame of the window because everybody's car is different but um you can see on the inside uh, move around easier actually the other side is on as well so i think for if you've got tall kind of windows like these older cars do they have taller windows whereas like the newer cars like mine they have sh kind of shorter windows so they're not so not maybe as suitable i haven't tried the front window windshield one in yet but I will try it on now to see what uh, how that fits in a small compact like this. Okay, so I have fitted now the front windshield one. As you can see, it does fit. I think because of the, the circle design, you can fit it in most windshields. I wouldn't, I, should, yeah, I wouldn't think you could get this in a smart car, mind you. It's pretty big. But I guess for a smart car, you could easily cut uh, that in half because the the wires are the circles separate circles you could cut the material in half and just use one of them i suppose you could try that um i will put the measurements of the each one on the on, in my review as well so i will measure them now but uh yeah it does work in this car uh inside it's quite dark as you can see there it's stopping all the light coming in well most of it there are obviously bits and bobs but i think it'll reflect most of the heat there is a sunroof on this car, so that's probably not good. Perhaps uh, if they included another one for people with sunroofs, that would be cool. But um, it will definitely stop a lot of the heat getting in, I think. And I leave these on for a while now, I think, and then come back and check the car, because it's very warm at the moment. As long as the sun stays out, which it doesn't necessarily look like it's going to, but we'll see. I'll check out what the temperature is later on, and then I'll measure them. Um, so yeah, I think they're pretty good for the, for, for the price. I think they're high, high quality, good quality for it. And if you, as someone who works all day and you, your car is parked outside all day in the blazing heat, I think it's well worth uh, the money getting something like this and then take, you know, spending the time to put them on when you get out of the car. It only takes five minutes to do, it's quite easily, easily done. So it's well worth putting them on uh, if you're gonna be parked, if your car's gonna be parked out in the sun for like, you know eight hours definitely worth doing so there you go um i'll leave that there for now and uh, i'll see you again